number 24. Cards Gale, you're all very welcome to this the most special of broadcasts coming to you live from Shamrock Park here in Rosslea. Tonight we are going to rewind the clock to a simpler time when summers were sunny, the US president wasn't a felon and you could afford to buy a Freddo. On our broadcast this evening we're going to watch the legends of from both Fermanagh and Monaghan do battle. This game has been organised by Marius Rooney of Rosslea Shamrocks GFC and is part of his fundraise efforts for the Oscars. We'll hear a little bit more about that later on because now I want to introduce my co-commentator for tonight's game. With all this talk of legends we had to get a legendary broadcaster and nowhere more so than Northern Sound's own Sean McCaffrey. Sean, you're very welcome to Fermanagh GEA TV and you're welcome to Shamrock Park here this evening. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was asking the fact that we're up on... You told me this is the field on the hill here, Kieran. I was asking... F- the was field into the hill. field <laughs> into the hill. I thought this was Clover Park yeah. and you Shamrock yeah. Park down below. It's interesting just there in your intro as well. You talked about rewinding the clocks. I'm looking out at a lot of these players and I think it was Sundials was doing the rounds <laughs> when they were last pulling on maybe football jerseys. But listen, it's fantastic. Fair dues to Marius and, and all the organisers that has put this together and a fantastic crowd that has torn out here tonight yeah. as well to see a- this. And for those tuning in on online as well. Well we're really looking forward to a wonderful game and a wonderful atmosphere and it's under the lights here. Just as you say talking about the concept, I think I'm probably of an age when I can remember these been described as old crux games but I think now they're marketed as legends. Uh, I suppose most of these players I'd have grown up watching them but uh, so for tonight it's for charity and all that but I'm sure there's going to be pride and uh, a bit of local rivalry given some of the players that's going to be involved. Absolutely yeah there's always a competitive streak no matter matter what grade you go to once you throw the ball up it's amazing you might go in with the intention of saying right we'll just go in and, and have a little bit of fun a bit of crack here but the minute that ball goes up and maybe the first crunch and tackle comes in you can be rest assured the, the competitive edge will kick in and, and you said it's fantastic we're going to be under the lights here this evening as well which just adds to it too so it does the, the sense of occasion that it is and it's interesting the two teams have broken away there I was just watching them during the warm ups now they're probably warming up this past week in preparation yeah, for this right. game and it was interesting to see see a couple of the lads in fairness they went down they were stretching out the hammies and stuff like that and I don't know whether the intention was to stay down for 5 to yeah. 10 minutes or it was well, a case they couldn't get back up Mar- Marius was telling me he was talking to Nicholas Corrigan this afternoon and he was going for his pre-match routine so that's how seriously he's <laughs> taking it uh, anyway just in, in the brief there referee soon about to get a start but we'll get a quick chance to run through the format there's 15 on both sides but it's going to be a sort of a squad thing players are going to rotate in and out and that's the job of the two managers but if we run through the uh, we'll get through a couple of the Fermanagh players before the referee will throw it up but goalkeeper is Sean Boyle Niall Casties were on three Shane Go on four Peter Sherry on five seven is Clay Fitzpatrick eight Kevin Cosgrove nine is James Sherry ten Kieran Boyle eleven Declan O'Reilly twelve Fergal Sherry thirteen Ryan Keenan fourteen Shane King and fifteen Noel Began and that'll get us underway here as the referee throws the ball up and that's in between James Sherry and Kevin Cosgrove Sherry left foot I'm sure Sean we're going to see plenty of old style football here I'd be shocked if I see a sweeper I was, gonna, I was just going to say that I don't think there'll be any mad fast moving going up and down the field it'll be long ball direct approach and that's what we're after getting and Mona just clearing the danger down inside here and it's with Podrick McKenna of course Air Rogman coming up Anthony Rooney getting involved there nice transfer off here to Ray McCardle down in front then to Shane McManus and back across but Fermanagh are going to turn this one over yeah picked up by that's number 5 that's the current Fermanagh manager who is Kieran Donnelly who picked that ball up and now Fermanagh's away into attack back to Jim Sherry a Rosslea man here so uh, he would never had an opportunity to play in this field and that's going to be a free in just while we are waiting the referee for today's game is from Kilevan Dermot Lynch he indeed is yes, Dermot is, Lynch yeah. Yeah. he's going to be assisted by Dom Riley and Kieran Carey with Rosslea men on the uh, uh, on the post so that's free is taken short by James Sherry it goes back as far as King and that's right footed chance of the first score that's nicely rated in but it's going to drop short that was Noel Began got a handle it and ended up going wide yeah first opportunity there interesting went short on it as well I'm not so sure what way the breeze maybe is favouring you're saying probably the first time for any of these players maybe to play on this yeah. pitch because it's a relatively new pitch yeah. to take it so it's a new outing for them all but Podrick McBennett down to our left hand side here yeah the things Castle underway. Blaney man that's right goal. And himself and Shane Duffy would have been sharing that role way back in the early part of this century. So they would have. That's a fantastic kick out, Kevin Hughes here. The silver Come out fox to the Latin, Latin man, Kevin Hughes, wearing 19. 
inside Peter yeah. Kyle there coming from the, the full back, back position he'd probably take a nosebleed now to get the whole way back <laughs> up the field again but uh, I'd say when he was playing the, the, when he was playing the full back stayed and mind, had to mind the house as they talked about <laughs> I think he left the house there even right out through the front door so he did indeed and he might need the taxi to go back up again no I think what he has done he's actually followed in fairness it has to be said Shane King has come out deep into the middle of the field so Peter Kyle has been deputised man marking job as man well for man him. And Shane McManus had that effort, went to the wrong side of the post and wide. So one wide apiece here in the opening minutes. Goalkeeper Sean Boyle coming over here to Shane Go in the Irvinstown man, and that's with uh, uh, that's with Shane King, who is the full forward. And now away we go with Kieran Donnelly, the Fermana manager, back to Peter Sherry and back to Shane King. Shane King's got his hands on a lot of ball in the early stages of this game, Sean. He has indeed, yeah. And and he as I said, and Anthony Rooney brilliantly coming across, picking that one out. Nice ball played down in front. To to Damien F. F. McKenna Scotchtown lovely crossfield ball looking for McManus again he might want to step inside the 45 he finds Cues. Cues might look off to his shoulder he had the run there Cyril Ronan didn't pick up on it and now he does find Ronan Ronan goes to ground and Fermanna tore it over again that's Tigerish in there in defence Kieran. so it is turns over to James Sherry Kieran O'Reilly's on this side of the field but now it comes onto that far side with Kieran Boyle the Brookborough man Boyle carrying the ball forward has Declan O'Reilly making a good run now it's Kevy Cosgrove he looks to find Declan O'Reilly here in a bit of space shooting chance plenty of time can O'Reilly get it to Noel Began the Adam Seaman well blocked down comes back to Noel Began but he finds Shane King bound to be the first score if it's not oh drop short drop short and Bennett would have been always well known for that being able to protect his crossbar done well got up pulled it down from underneath it and Shane we King we come with Shane McManus just in front of us here that ball's bouncing in round midfield well hell James Sherry putting pressure on the Monaghan midfielder who was still a Ronaghan Ronaghan wins his free and Monaghan moving the ball quickly on that far side of the field Sean what I'm loving is Patrick McKenna just come up there laid off a beautiful ball and then it's just torn and sauntered his whole way back he's not going to put out any energy by having to run around the field it was brilliant to see that's an effort from Monaghan over on that far side Declan and again Smith. out to the wrong side of the post and wide it was Declan Smith that uh, with that effort still awaiting the first score here I mean it's probably going to be a low scoring game I'm sure it will it will I would imagine but you know, thinks maybe when the first score goes over uh, it could be just, a real deluge it, it could be a deluge well we're hoping now to avoid the deluge of rain yeah. I know there was rain beforehand that maybe put a wee bit of speed into the ground as well which will help these lads that's a great kick out but a straight down intercepted the now Monaghan this is Kieran Hughes on the right foot that's the first score ah, a over great the bar. score and the Latin man on the end of it and a little just <laughs> wag of the finger as well to acknowledge it uh, he's, he seems to have a lot of fans gathered up here Sean <laughs> He ha there has indeed and funny I was talking to a couple of young ones coming in and they were looking forward to seeing their daddy playing this evening Anthony Rooney they'd never seen him playing football before and I said I wish I could say the same because <laughs> I've seen all these lads playing <laughs> so <laughs> the difference but an opening score two Monaghan so one point to no to no, to no now it's with Ross Lee's James Sherry finding the full back and that's the first crunching hit we've seen it was uh, Neil Casty who yeah, shipped the tough Kyle. challenge there the two full backs going toe to toe now it's with Sherry again and over to uh, coming over to this side of the field to oh great to catch wing half forward who's Declan O'Reilly right footed over the bar and that's the score's level. That was an absolutely brilliant score and a wonderful crossfield ball as well. And it was brilliantly taken by Declan O'Reilly and he bought himself a yard of space that he needed as well and in and over the bar. And as we noted, when the first score came, all of a sudden mm -hmm. it has opened up the game and we're all square here. And I never thought just to, to note down maybe the, the starting time here, but we're certainly maybe inside the, the, the opening 10 minutes here and it's all square. Now, play continues with Monaghan, and uh, as we said, that's Eddie Began getting his hands on the ball. You're going to see a lot of players coming in and out. The two managers haven't had a chance to mention them. For Fermanagh, it's Dom Corrigan, who was the Fermanagh manager 20 years ago, and for Monaghan, it'll be Jack McCarville, assisted by Mick McCormick. Inside ball, that's broken out by, that looks like Dermy, Ray, uh, Dermy Rayleigh, who's picked that up. Unnamed man on the panel, only the <laughs> only I know him. I say he'd have done well. <laughs> he got the call up then. He got the call up. So yeah, there must have been a, a, a car load went around to gather up a last <laughs> lock of boys. But Kieran O'Reilly here giving it back to Dermot Reilly, a Rasley man. Now it's with Kieran Donnelly and Donnelly, the current Fermanagh manager. So I'd say there'll be a lock of boys watching them to see what they need to do. 
And Frank Caulfield, the man that he would have managed when he was over Scotstown, just cutting that one out. And it's over here to, Back Kevin, to Kevin Hughes, Hughes again. And of course, Kevin opened the scoring for Monaghan. Nice ball played inside. Oh, that's again a wonderful hand going in. I have to say, I'm very impressed by the, the defence inside there. Clive Fitzpatrick, Newtown Butler, first for man is there to cutting out that ball. And I tell you what, the game is playing at a lovely wee mm. pace, it has to be said. It's all attack, Sean. All, all attack. out attack. 2v1 for Fermanagh in here if they can get the ball forward. It's with the wing half forward who is Ray and Keenan. He flicks it to Noel Began and now goal it comes chance. to Kieran Boyle. Kieran Boyle, first chance the goal. And he gets it, Kieran Boyle, the Brookborough man. Yeah. No, Noel Began just helped the Monaghan defender out of the road. He, he did, well, he just eased him out <laughs> yeah. of the way. But that all come from, from cutting out at the back. And I tell you, if you were watching maybe the championship in the earlier part of the year and that score was scored, you'd be you'd be talking it up, yeah. so you would. And it has to be credit where it's due. It was a brilliant finish. And, and Fermanagh, the goal to the good. First goal of the game goes to Fermanagh. Fermanagh won one, Monaghan one point. So uh, they're, even it is a Legends game, they're playing the new rules, I see. For that was a mark taken by the... Uh, 25 we're playing 25 minutes a half Sean 25 ah, we're going to give them 5 minutes less <laughs> at, the, yes. at the end of each half I think they'd be deserving I'd, of it I, I'd say when you factor in maybe in or uh, breaks and things like that there it'll be near enough a, a half an hour as a high ball coming in going to be broken out by Shane Gowan and he gives it over there to Kieran Donnelly with Dermot Riley in support and it comes over now as far as Peter Sherry uh-huh. Given that this is uh, obviously a fundraiser for Rosley Shamrocks in there, Oscars, it's great to see a lot of the support from Rosley men, the Sherry's, Rayleigh's, all people who have been servants of Rosley down through the years. That's James Sherry looking to find Ray and Keenan, the two boys soldier together, and Keenan's breaking forward. I think he's looking for the second goal, but he gives it to Kieran O'Reilly. Oh. Over as far as Noel Began, <laughs> Began picks it up. He's going to get it to the ground. It's rolling in, and it is a goal. <laughs> it is a goal. Yeah, the, it, it was uh, him and Anahan. And and in fairness, Bennett went down early, thinking, uh, anticipating the first shot, and I think that put off the Fermanagh man that was going in. But it dropped down, and in fairness, all you had to do was pull on it, and put it to the back yeah. of the net. And Noel for a Began team that only gathered up, as you said, maybe in the last luck of days, they're playing very well. <laughs> yeah, Noel Began's been a defender all the day. Ever seen him playing? So it's uh, he must be. His instincts have been in and around the goal <laughs> line, I suppose. <laughs> now that's Nicholas Corrigan, I would think, over there, and it comes to. Number it is, 20. Yeah. Yeah. It's the brother Jared now going to pick up on the ball back here. The two lads very similar in fairness. The hairstyle similar to my they own do, as well. So yeah, do. you could nearly pass he's could nearly buy, pass as a boy band between <laughs> the three years. <laughs> we could all right, right said Fred, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Peter Kyle, lovely ball played in and that worked on this occasion. The mark being taken inside there by the number Fergal eighteen. Moan. Fergal Moan and Great that's score. a brilliant score from Moan. Didn't even take time to call the mark, just torn swiveled and you can hear the crowd over on the far side appreciate that one, of course, brother of Desi Moan, so it is, but Fergal on this occasion occasion fire on that one over the Clontibbert man yes, bringing indeed. the score line to Fermanagh two goals and a point Monaghan two points in this that's James Sherry wins his mark. mark and he's going to play on he's got Kieran Donnelly and Declan O'Reilly here breaking forward 2v1 inside the 45 metre line and it's Declan O'Reilly looking for a shooting chance I would say going to tick that in the left foot don't think it's going to come across though and that's going to end up going wide yes yeah, ended up over at the flags in the far corner in fact that's how far wide maybe it was it nearly missed the catch net behind but listen when your confidence is up why not take them chances that's what it's there for but I have to say the, the, the game the skill the quality and the movement is fantastic if they these can legends. finish the last 10 minutes as, as, as energetic as they're starting the first 10 this is with Kevin Hughes again, again right footed don't think Aye. that's going to come in no the pressure was on him in fairness again they knew that he was shaping up for the shot so he was and they immediately got the cover over on him there so they did and just a word Sean about the fundraising thing this is of course for the for Rosley Shamrocks GFC they're undertaking the Oscars where local people take to make uh, films and uh, there's a fundraising element too so all the actors will raise a bit of money and that's Marius has put the work in this evening to c- pull this together with, in the, with the intention of raising his money for the Oscars so um, the important thing on the two Sean there's a lot of community events where everyone can go out and enjoy themselves because the facilities here are going to be for community benefit oh absolutely and the fantastic facilities here are just Monon on the attack Nicholas, Nicholas Corrigan with no one he's liable of all brilliant block, block coming across inside there 
Shane, Shane Gowan got, got a hand with Nicholas Carrigan. The first time we've seen that foray of him coming up the field. And in fairness, was the Scotch Town men all combined there. It was interesting. Eddie Began has come in, introduced for Monaghan there. So he hasn't. I see Vinnie Martin has also come in for Monaghan. But Eddie Began, I think he's supposed to be doing a bit of wiring. I heard for Donald Morgan. So if Donald Morgan's wondering where Eddie Began is and why the wiring's not be done, he's here he's in the field playing in this Legends game. So he is. But it's actually gone for a free in. Free in. Free in, that's kicked over there by Hugh McElroy, right. the Latin O'Reilly's man. And just for the look at it, I can see there's, in, in the last look at this, there has been more people that have come in to get involved as well. I can see a couple of people that aren't named on programmes here. I see Kieran O'Reilly on that far, or Declan O'Reilly indeed, on that far side of the field. And it's back here with Kevin Hughes again. Yeah. Right footed oh. shot, oh, back, back of the, the post. Upright. And the shot has just gone wide. But Q's in fairness is now getting a lot of space inside there and he's just trying to utilise it when he's getting that chance. And isn't it brilliant to see you've noted maybe a few extras that are coming in and getting involved and that's what it's all about as well, is that sense of community and everybody wanting to be helping out and the fact even that the Monon lads have crossed the border yeah, over here into yeah. the neighbouring county to give the hand out as well. And well, Mario said once he put the call out he was inundated with lads that wanted to come I, and be I, part of this. I was remarking too the six Scotch town men line out in this field in Scotchtown indeed in neighbouring parish here to Rossley so it's great to see the support from that there that's Hugh McElroy on the right foot well Red blocked block. down by Niall yeah. Cassidy now you're picks the ball up it's Peter Sherry picking it up back to Cassidy and Sherry that's three Rossley men giving it to Kieran Donnelly and away the manager goes with James Sherry in midfield back to Donnelly he's got support Peter over there. there and now it comes to Sheehan King I tell you what, Kieran Donnelly with the physique and the movement he has, they would not look out of place on any club on any team, team at the moment. Goal chance here, I would say, back as far as the, the centre half forward, who was Declan O'Reilly, and O'Reilly takes his point. There was a goal on there, but maybe it's the sensible thing just Do to you take, the point? take your point. Yeah. And structural wise, the teams have really well set up. Like it is old school football. It is it's old man school. For man. You know, there's no sweeper. The only sweeper we'll see about here maybe is the brush in the community <laughs> centre a little later on. But it's fantastic to see it going back to this old school, old style, isn't it? Kick out in the far side of the field. Couldn't be kept in by Peter Kyle over there. And that's going to be a sideline ball for Fermanagh, which Ian King takes back here now to Kieran Donnelly as Fermanagh lead two goals and two points that's eight to three points to Monon continuing on here and it's coming to James Sherry that ball goes to ground be picked up by Ryan Keenan as well intercepted back, back to back Sherry again. again giving it over here now as far as uh, Kieran O'Reilly and back to Declan O'Reilly left footed shot no back to his back to his brother and it's back now to James Sherry again Fermanagh trying to move forward that's in as far as the wing half forward who is Fergal Sherry another Sherry he looks as if he's going to go across the field to Kieran Boyle got the first goal of the game on the right foot it chips that ball in and chips it over the bar he did I think yeah, yeah the umpire over the bar see the white that's flags a brilliant up. score and again wonderful interchange of play from Fermanagh back and forth across the field as I say they're going to let the ball do the work there's no point in running after it like a madman here this evening let the ball do it that's going to come out Peter you don't Sherry wait on it Peter Sherry intercepts that there but the two Sherry brothers working together now it's back to Kieran Donnelly again he gives it to Kieran Boyle to Brookburn man that was a bit of a push <laughs> referee uh, he doesn't want to know anything about it as the referee he's a man and man I think, he's I think he was yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> Might have even been a Caliban man that done yeah. the foul there, and he definitely wasn't going to give it against one of his own. <laughs> it's with Peter Picked Kyle. Now be Peter Kyle over there, and it's with uh, that's Eddie, Eddie Began, Began Scotch Town man. Yeah, cross in front here. Then Frank Caulfield, Scotch Town combining again. Nice cross field ball looking for play. Corrigan. That's a brilliant ball. Slips through his hands the first time. He's going to have the house raided on him here, but he plays it deep up into the corner, looking for Kevin Hughes here. Ah, Hughes, his pockets picked as well. That's going to go out wide. He was just trying to pull on it, pulled on it too strongly, and another wide from on him. Two, three to three points shown so far in the first half would be approaching 15 minutes played. Yeah, and you would have got brave odds at the bookies maybe for it to have been that way when you consider maybe the base of where these two teams will be coming from but for Mana in fairness defensively very very tight and a lovely structure to how they're playing as well to, to give credit to them and, and their goals were well worked so they were and even That's when they're putting the pressure on they, they, they're, they're, they're moving that wee bit more at speed so they are I think there's more of a legend to them and a leg end to the Monaghan <laughs> side here at the moment but here goes I think this, you said is it Kieran O'Reilly Kieran O'Reilly I'm pretty sure to Clay Fitzpatrick 
the new town butler man not going to bend back in I don't think no nope, and that's another wide. wide still creating the chances though Sean yeah absolutely and from distance and you can see by the cameras maybe the flags there's not a breath of a breeze you're well sheltered in here with the, the hill the whole way around you so they're not even being aided by the breeze them efforts coming in and Mon and building from the back here again Nicholas Corrigan sweeping across Peter Kyle's going to pick up on it Kyle now coming out over the 20 metre line a little show and go and takes it back in again there's a 24 come in from Mon in there I'll have to get a little bit of a rundown as to who that is now. I would need him to run past us to get a bit of a look, at, a look at him get a registration number <laughs> yeah. off him Mark there Q Kyle does or Q McElroy doesn't take it he's coming off his right oh, does he? Uh, can't bend it in wide. can't bend it in and that goes wide and that'll be a kick out for Chris Breen who has come on to replace Sean Boyle and Chris Breen the Anna Skillen man finds Kieran Donnelly and now it's with Shane King. King has got support again from Donnelly coming off on the shoulder. Clay Fitzpatrick's on this side of the field and Fitzpatrick has Ryan Keenan in front of him. But he looks to find he looks to find Fergal Sherry. Sherry, can he keep it in? No, he no, can't. Can't. And I can just confirm it's Vinnie Martin is wearing number he's down to sixteen, he's wearing twenty four for the simple reason being sixteen would be normally your sub goalkeeper's jersey, so it'd be a slightly different colour, so that's why then he's twenty four is uh, Vinnie. Kick out comes here and that's Eddie Began picking that up. Coming along to one of the Corrigan lads, that's Jared, I yes, think. It's Jared, it's Jared, it is comes indeed. Now yeah. to out to Francis Caulfield Caulfield down here to Peter Kyle Kyle looking up into the corner for Fergal Moan and Moan has already got a wonderful score here but he's going to pop it back inside again try to do the return back to Caulfield it's not often you'd see Clintibbert and Scotstown trying to combine like that and it did come up short and here they come again and I say for Manor once more Neil Cassidy has the ball there. here he has Kieran Bailey ahead of him it probably got the f the one of the things that's standing out for me so far Sean is that either of these counties could be looking at putting a Masters team in yes absolutely they have and the talent no they yeah. and the interest as well if they'll do it for charity they'll definitely do it for a competition I'd imagine yeah so away we go with Eddie Began picking yeah. that up 4v2 four v four v indeed for Mon and that's Q McElroy the Latin bike going to want it on the right foot he Hasn't steps lost inside that little skill and steps has he done in. enough I don't think it's going to bend in he has, oh, he has it's got been it. given he has yeah. got it the umpires were undecided I thought they were going to go to Hawkeye there for a moment but Dermot Lynch then overrode any decision to go to any cameras that was required but they uh, Hugh McElroy always known for doing what he'd done there that hard run and immediately standing on the brakes oh, oh this ball's going to be cut out and the Q's got an opportunity here maybe to punish this one from Sean Boyle it is 2-3 to 4 and it's Q still continuing on put the here ball we go, across goal there's chance. a goal opportunity up and over the bar for the ball. Bar. that's two quick fire two points quick from Monaghan points, yeah, and it brings the score now to Fermanagh 2-3 Monaghan 5 points there no. is 4 points between the teams here as we're ticking in half time is quickly approaching Monaghan got a goal before half time Sean it would really set it up for the second half that's a great take by Cyril Ronaghan in midfield wins his mark goes over there as far as Ian, Ian Larmer. Larmer another Kilevan man Hello, so Hello. if you counted him and the referee on the field there's three Kilevan men now on the field so there is but from Anna again intercepts it, over. it goes over so as James Boyle another Rosley man in that ball hasn't gone as far as Ryan Keenan and Monaghan have it back so yeah I think probably at this stage Sean it, it probably would have took the teams 20 minutes to get used to playing with each other as well so you yes. can see Monaghan are starting to click a bit better here they are and I'm wondering just as for Monaghan maybe tired themselves out with the frantic start that they did have as well maybe not just moving up the field with the ease that they were doing Kevin Q's back on it here again I see another here he goes he's going to want it can he no, take it no not going to come, come in for the, oh no the catch net's going to get it he's going to head for the car park but the net caught it and he's just signalling there that the ball might be a wee bit quicker into him because he is getting the yard of space inside there that he can exploit but again it's amazing just to see the movement of some of these lads and the skills are still there oh you, you they never lose it Sean no now Shane Gowan has that over as far as Declan O'Reilly and now it's with Dermy O'Reilly to the 
manager Kieran Donnelly and he feeds Jeremy Reilly now Jeremy Reilly breaking forward there's a goal scoring opportunity on here 2v1 can he get it to Noel Began he's already got a goal can he get a second one he's blocked down referee, referee didn't says want to know play on. a foot block now I thought there's two Monon and have got away with in there it's great that they have the on and referee in fairness to side with them 50-50 <laughs> calls that are inside there so they are and it's coming out here this is Nicholas now I think. this is yeah, Nicholas Corrigan Corrigan brothers coming he up is Damien McKenna alongside Side him, him. D- yeah Damien F gives it to Damien in then to Ronahan Cyril his brother Raymond was supposed to be with us here tonight as well unfortunately just had to pull out at the last minute down on the knees picking it up oh I like the pass I like that pass just over the head of Dermot really Monaghan still have it now that's chipped Vinnie forward push on the back of the referee you judge as well and now he's going to move it across because <laughs> something was said yeah. I think for man were yeah. questioning the, the push that was about 20 minutes ago up on the far side that wasn't given <laughs> Free in, and this is going to be taken by the the full Q forward Q McElroy. Yeah, is indeed. He's done it many occasions when he was on and the they need it. County panel. There we go. Two, three to Fermanagh. Six points now to Monon. Three points between the teams, and it is starting to the business is picking up here a bit, Sean. It is indeed, and just from Q McElroy's point of view, there he was the top scorer for the county back in two thousand and five in the championship with three seventeen. Uh, sort of a, a year when he come back into the football, so it was, and the the highest scorers on that year just so the company he was in was Stephen O'Neill Tyrone Colin Cooper Kerry Stevie McDonnell Armagh and Paddy Bradley Derry so he wasn't in bad old company he so was he not he was not not at all now the play continues and that's with uh, Ian Larmer and it's over now as far as Fergal Moan Moan hitting that in but I think that's going to go wide it is yeah just got underneath it I could see his intention what he was trying to do but just caught it on the outside of the boot when he was trying to maybe put the coral to pull it in but 2-3 to 6 2005 so did you say Q McElroy was the top or was the top the scorer for the championship 2005 and th- that was the year didn't Monaghan play Tyrone didn't wasn't that that was the year Tyrone had all them games they, play, they played Monaghan twice didn't they it was right. a draw and a replay and, replay. and, and they uh, it was also the year as well as the Fermanagh go on the attack. Noel Began catches that ball well, gets his free in. Take it yourself, Noel. I, I think that's oh. the first free for Man may have got. <laughs> as well, out of there, but well. So it is. <laughs> no, it's the second one because there was one that was also got that they took short when they tried to build a score for themselves. But yeah, 2005, of course, that was the year of the Division 2 title. Man had Meath. claimed it by beating Meath, Paul Finley's last gasp kick as well and Q McElroy come on in that game in fact and scored a pint it was also the year that he had got married as well so it was a busy year for him as that one goes in and over the bar for Fermanagh and they needed that because yeah. they'd conceded there a number of scores so they push it back out again to a four point game 2-4 to 6 2-4 to 6 points as Monon take a short kick out and now the play is continuing it's with their corner back Padraig McKenna from Smithborough now Ian Larmer as far here as Larmer. again. Out to Damien F here, just directly in front of us. Back yeah. into the centre, Peter Coyle for strong challenge coming up, and Peter, and again wins himself the free. He's taken and quickly, looking for Hughes here again. Kieran Hughes, he's been fa- Kevin Hughes has been faced by Kieran Rooney as Hughes. He's looking to deliver it. Rooney standing up. Now it's Lar- that's Larmer right footed wished is that over it's going to drop in, in. The dangerous Bear ball the oh, oh first time what volley. a pull has that gone wide I think it's gone wide oh, everybody's oh, looked at would have been a fantastic score I could I think only hope McManus. the cameraman got that w- got the, if, if that had a bit of the cameraman would have got that I'd nearly have given that that would have been a viral <laughs> piece now for <laughs> later on, on social media on YouTube yeah it was Shane yeah. McManus just with the half volley like something you'd see maybe in the World Cup and we've got the first stoppage here just and as well a little time. bit of an accidental knock that's half time and that's so in fact half time as well yeah yeah half time score here Sean 2-4 to 6 points definitely all to play for in the second half that game was picking up as the game went on I think as the teams got more used to playing yeah. with each other <laughs> absolutely yeah and you could see that but I have to say Fermanagh definitely impressed and rightly so are leading on the scoreboard their two goals and particularly their first goal was fantastic from a, a, a breakdown inside they turned the ball over in their own defence moved to pace but I think what happened them then as the game went on because they had been going in such waves up the field 
midfield putting pressure on Monon they may be tired now naturally enough and it's interesting I think Monon are making more use of their, their rolling on of subs in and out and in and out we envisaged that when we talk about these rolling subs that there'd be actually men maybe rolling off the <laughs> field but that hasn't been the case as of yet so it hasn't but uh, we'll have to still get them off full time but yeah it's a great cra- and it has uh, as well as that we're very grateful that it has re- but if this had been last Friday it would have been Storm Betty Storm <laughs> Betty in the middle of it too but at half time the scoreline reads for Mana 2 for Mana 6 points we'll take a break as we, g- we uh, get ourselves gathered up here for the second half but join us again on this coverage on Fermanagh GEA TV for the second half of the Legends game between Fermanagh and Monon coming to you live from Shamrock Park here in Rosley. Back in 2011, the committee of our club drew up a development plan which would chart the way forward in terms of the infrastructural development we wanted to undertake in the years ahead. In 2011, we completed the building of entrance walling and the erection of gates at the Church Street entrance. 2013 saw us tarmac surface the entrance laneway, complete with car park markings. The next couple of years were taking up with land acquisition and securing the statutory permissions for our second pitch before work commenced on it in 2017. During 2019, we developed a 1.2 km tarmac community walkway complete with bollard lighting. The following year, 2020, saw the new pitch completed together with the state-of-the-art flood lighting being installed. In the same year, we extended our community walkway around the second pitch bringing its total length up to 1.6 kilometres. We also installed a lift and completed a minor refurbishment in our complex building. In 2021, we developed a tarmac car park capable of holding 110 cars to the rear of the same building. Some updates to the main pitch, including the erection of new ball stops and the modernisation of the perimeter fencing was also completed in this year. By late 2022, we commenced work on a new 4G pitch, which we hope to have completed in early July this year. All in all, during this 12-year period, we have spent close to 3 million sterling on those developments. And whilst some grant aid was secured to help fund these works, the vast majority has been raised through ongoing fundraising. As a club, we still have some debt, however, as it's almost four years since our last big fundraiser, the very successful Strictly Shamrocks, we need to look at our next initiative to help pay this off. We are going with our very own Oscars, which as the name suggests is based around films. We hope to create one of the biggest nights in the parish's history around this event. Essentially, we are going to ask up to 100 locals from around the village to take part. The format is quite simple. After auditions, our professional event partners, Kevin Rowe Events, will cast these people into roles in seven different films, some as actors and some as extras. Each film will be assigned a coordinator who will drive fundraising within that team. All sorts of events will be organised to raise money together with sponsors being secured to help that team reach their fundraising target. An acting coach will come to rehearsals for one night a week for four weeks and then filming will begin in the locality to produce the final excerpt for the film, which will be roughly 10 minutes long. The crack will be mighty at the rehearsals as people of all ages will be involved. The filming will be of the highest professional standard and it will be amazing what will be produced. We will hold an Oscars night where numerous awards will be handed out after the films have been judged by a celebrity team. 
The event final is scheduled for the Hillgrove Hotel on November the 11th, 2023. Get involved and play your part in helping to raise much needed funds for our club and also be associated with an event that will be talked about for years to come. If you would like to hear more, please attend our introduction night in the complex on Saturday, May 27th. to stay in and... Uh, take the cash payment. Ah, that's, yeah. Go, go and see Marius then, and if you're... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're underway here for the second half of this Legends game in Shamrock Park for Mana playing Monaghan as part of the Oscars fundraising. At the half time, for Mana taking a lead of two, four to six points, a four-point lead. Now, Monaghan are on the attack. That's their full forward, Hugh McElroy, Top scorer Sean McAfee was telling oh, me in the 2005 championship. And right absolutely footed. brilliant there yep. again from him. Picked up just out on the arc of the day, swung it over, and again, these guys really torning back the years here, so they are. And as I say, class is permanent when you see that. We, sh we should be playing 45 minutes a half because they're only getting better as the thing's going on. <laughs> they are indeed. Short Sh kick out, picked up by Niall Cassidy. He finds Peter Sherry and Sherry takes that ball, looking for support. He's got Kieran Rooney here. Rooney, that ball just goes away from him. Picked up over there by Fergal, Fergal Moan and Monaghan are going to look to turn the screw here. That is Ian Larmer trying to find Shane, Shane McManus. McManus. McManus, left footed. Has he got and another again, score? He's got it points. once more, yeah, as That's you told it, come in, torn on the left, and once more, just the class of the De Hamlet man inside there. We've seen him doing it many sort of occasions. I think he is. That's Three the of the four intermediate titles that the Hamlet have won from the come up from uh, into senior football back down intermediate and a couple of times to come up he has featured on that team. So again, just as I say, class is permanent when you see a man just torn on the spot like that. That's the half time lead cut uh, uh, cut down to two points for Mana two four Mana eight points and Mana must have scored must have scored five or six of the last seven points here. I would imagine. They did, yeah. They went on that scoring spree, and I think Fermanna did break it up with one score, but they might have an opportunity here. James now, maybe Sherry spinning around. Can he put that over? That'll be a nice score. Oh, that Indeed. is a great score. He just spun out of the tackle, Sean, onto his right foot, and chips that over the bar and gets a point, which Fermanna were could, could could have done with definitely for Mana two five Monaghan eight points three points between the teams we're playing twenty five minutes in the second half well, you have the stopwatch two going. minutes gone of it here yeah so. Still plenty of time, McBennett, big kick out in the middle of the field, broken down, and again that's for man in, get the breaking ball. Yeah, that's Neil McElroy over there, Kieran McElroy, I beg your pardon, picking that ball up now, it's with Jim Sherry, back to McElroy here. And Dermy Reilly slips, but he does still has time to pick up the ball. Has Peter Sherry, gives it to Peter Sherry inside the 45 metre line, passes it to the shooter, Ryan Keenan. Keenan gives it to Noel Began he's got a goal so far is that a point to add to it yes I it think is. it is 
And I think he said he's more used to being in a defensive uh, role. Uh, so I, I only ever seen him wearing three on his back. But <laughs> well, he still has three on his back yeah. today. But my God, he's kicking some great scores there. And now they've negated the two scores that they conceded there. They've immediately yeah. put them back on the board for themselves. And that's all you can do: match score for score. Keep the scoreboard ticking over for yourself. And McBennett, the Blaney man, going out short. Nice ball over inside there. I'm not so sure who's picked up on it. And this Ian Larmer, in fact, has picked up on it from Monaghan. Peter Kyle went on a run, didn't work, and is coming back inside here again there it's with Damien F McKenna Damien F well Damien F would be more used to being in a rally car has just met his father walking past and crossed in front of us here but good to see him back out how many other Damien McKenna's is there if he's Damien F oh there's quite a number is of there there a of McKenna's them? yeah would there be 26 of them <laughs> <laughs> and he's always known as Damien F now across the middle Cyr- of Ronahan. Cyril Ronahan over right. here to Jared Corrigan, Corrigan. Left footed ball, oh what a pass, ah, what a pass, what a pass and what a on mark. the left foot. Yeah, and Michael Rye was calling it from the minute he knew it was dropping down into his pocket. He had the hand up, one hand up, nearly ready for the mark. And we're just beautifully in line here now to watch Huey Michael Rye. And again, seen him doing this on many occasions, not to put the commentators curse on him, not at no, all. Right in over the black spot, or as you have in this case, a green spot. 2-6 to Fermanagh, 9 points to Monaghan, still 3 points between the teams and there's no doubt about it Sean, Monaghan still in striking distance here. A goal would be a massive score for Monaghan now if the they could engineer anywhere. one, it would certainly, yeah. There'll absolutely. be a roar that you'd hear in Scotstown as James Sherry coming to claim that ball, he has Jeremy Rayleigh running alongside him, Sherry goes back as far as uh, Kieran McElroy. And now it's with Ray and Keenan, the two tempo men working together. Back to Jim Sherry as he's breaking inside the Monon 45 metre line. Now Ray and Keenan, he's got Peter Kyle in front of him. Sherry on it Goes again. through the hands as far as Kieran Ooh. Boyle. He got the first goal. He was t- he was taken down, le- well, not legitimately, but it wasn't a black card and it was just outside the just outside the square. I think he was in a Corrigan sandwich there because he had Nicholas <laughs> on one side of him and Jared on the other. And I tell you, they're two boys I wouldn't have no, liked to be running into at any speed. Dangerous place to be. <laughs> Well, he's got himself the free, and again, having conceded one point down at one side, they've an opportunity to come the other way, and they've put it in and over the bar, so they pushed it out so again. That, that was uh, Kieran Boyle, the goal scorer from uh, the goal scorer from Brookborough, who got that there as Fermanagh opened their lead out a wee bit more, four points between the teams. And Podrick McKenna, indeed Podrick McKenna from the Aero Club, which is the other half of the Ross Lake Parish. So it's great That's to right. see the it's great to see the folks that are uh, from Smithborough here today. As we have got Nicholas uh, Carrigan Nicholas going Carrigan. up here again, yeah, absolutely. And a little story. Looking to find you, McElroy. McElroy has it in a bit uh, of space. James Sherry around him. Oh, oh it's just ball has been yeah. intercepted. As by intercepted be Niall McElroy and it's going to be a free, free out. Free advantage has been played, yeah. But just when you mentioned Nicholas Corrigan there, his uncle would have been best man for me at my wedding and then I was at his uncle's stag and we had a great night out over in Scotstown but on that night a couple of people had come in and at that time they were mistaken Nicholas Corrigan for the great Peter Canavan uh, so they yeah. were and you can see it on that yeah. run he went up on but as the night went on then Nicholas Corrigan was being mistaken for me so uh, he was as well because we had similar hairstyles so what I, I took out of all of that was I must look like Peter Canavan <laughs> I don't think Peter Canavan could give, put in the sort of performance that Nicholas Corrigan is putting, putting in here, in here this evening, no, I, don't, no. <laughs> I don't think so that ball has been kicked forward oh, and it's going to come to James it's James Boyle eventually can he get underneath it did he pick it up on the ground I don't think so it's passed over here as far as Kevin Cosgrove right footed not known for a shooting but oh what a he score he has it absolutely brilliant I think these boys are maybe trying to make up for scores they would have missed uh, maybe when the they were in the prime of their playing <laughs> days by suddenly just bringing it out here and that's pushed it out no two hanging about nine. no hanging about as Monaghan continue the play moves over here now as far as I think that's Ian Larmer indeed it's, uh, Vinny, yeah. and the Killeven men combined yeah was indeed Back now that's with, with Damien F Fowl, oh, he Fowl he has still yeah. got the play now it comes as far as Jared Corrigan Nicholas is there in front of him no options in front the only option is to give it to Nicholas Corrigan he has got Cyril Ronahan in midfield turns back inside and it comes as far as Kevin Hughes Hughes picks that ball up he's going to go first time into Looking Hugh McElroy yes. going to go over the lane 
Uh, so in his the earlier days, Q definitely would have won that race. Was never going to happen for him today, so it wasn't on a line ball. I think it's the first line ball. Maybe we've I had think in it this is. Game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dom Rayleigh's doing the lane here in front of us, so he got he's a hundred percent in his call so far. He got a chance to use the flag. Yeah. <laughs> Kieran Donnelly gives that to Neil Cassidy and Cassidy with the cross field ball in to find Noel Began. Snuffed Corrigan out by again inside the two there, Corrigan yeah. lads. To Damien F. Damien F. Back across then to Peter Coyle, it looks like, is it? It's oh, not. It's no, it's Frank McEnany. McEnany's McEnany. been introduced. The Banty's brother and Frank. Picked up over there by Shane Gowen, a real tight defender in his time from Irvinstown, of course. Now he finds Dermot Rayleigh, and now it's with Shane King. Shane King, nice ball to uh, to uh, Kieran Donnelly over there. Donnelly has got Nail, or he's got uh, Kieran McElroy over there. Now it comes as far as Declan O'Reilly left oh, footed shot. Great save, save. McBennett. Great save, Porter McBennett. Absolutely, that come and in he from Fergal Cherry. No one for that when he was goalkeeper both at county and club level his shot stopping capabilities were second to none and he proved it there point blank save from him I was just looking to see who Frank McEnany had come in for and I'm thinking it may be Francis Caulfield that has made way because uh, that would be a direct I'd say it would be impossible to keep track of it all <laughs> but uh, uh, Frank McEnany he's in town at the minute anyway and that's over there Fergal as far Moen. as Fergal Moen yeah and he just he's taking his time the train just to pick yeah. the perfect pass here Monaghan just haven't really opened up for any real goal opportunities here 9 minutes 10 minutes gone in the second half 4 oh points again. between the teams oh, oh Kevin Hughes oh, oh, great hand again he was just about to get away but Ryan Keenan got the hand in now it comes over as far as Kieran Donnelly and Shane King's with him as well Declan O'Reilly's here too Shane King looking for support here he still he has Declan O'Reilly and O'Reilly finds Kieran Donnelly in midfield for Mana chips that ball forward to Kieran Boyle nicely picked up the two Brookborough lads and Declan O'Reilly spins out of the Corrigan sandwich <laughs> wins his free and for Jared Corrigan and Dermot Lynch and Nicholas Corrigan all going together there that definitely is right said Fred through yeah. the hand that we're getting <laughs> yeah. there so it is Monaghan turned it over here and an opportunity danger on here now as Monaghan they have an opportunity Ronaghan. with Cyril Ronaghan Q McElroy's there as well Ronaghan going to look to find the big ball in oh, oh this could be the one this could be the opportunity for Q's oh he just had a turn and come back out again chance is still there as it comes Moe. to oh, oh strong tackle goes to him referee yeah. playing the play in is he going to let the advantage go on ahead? He's that's going to let the, the advantage go. Yeah, I'd, say let the point, I'd say let the point go. Colin Malone, that's Buggy that's gone on in there now as well. Of course, got the goal for Bally Bay back when they finally picked up the McDuffie. Back, I think it was 2015 time when they, or prior to that, in fact. The last time? 2012, 2012. County final when they crossed the, got it back over and home again for the first time in 25 years. So, Buggy has been introduced. Sean Boyle going long three three for Mana men there to pick up the breaking ball it's with Kieran Donnelly Donnelly has got Kieran Boyle inside and Kieran Boyle goes to ground the, t the Corrigans and Peter Coyle in there and Peter Coyle gets that ball puts his head where you wouldn't put a hammer <laughs> comes out with the ball as well now it's going to be out? a Nobody. crunch yeah <laughs> Free for Monaghan and Nicholas Corrigan is playing on ahead, but I think I think Cyril just, checking, I think Cyril right, just yeah. got a little bit of a knock. It was accidental in fairness, and and the fairness, the two lads, Cyril and Kieran, neither of them were pulling out of that no, ball on the no. ground, and I think it was just a little brush of the hand across just the face of Cyril there. He's none the worse for it, but again, neither lad was pulling out of that ball. It was directly in front of us, so they weren't. Nicholas Corrigan's going to stand over this one. I see coming this near side. Podrick McKenna has given him an option if he wants to use it. A couple of changes may have been made Ref as well. Yeah, he is going to come back to Podrick McKenna here. Referee Dermot Litz lets the play go ahead now. It's with Cyril Ronaghan, the big midfielder. Fermanagh have got 13 men behind the ball. McKenna, yeah, the, the ball. pulling inside. Yeah, Q yeah, McElroy, Q McElroy. Yeah, they were just trying to st stifle that run of his, and again, we'll have an opportunity once more. He'll go through the same little stance, yeah. the bounces out of the ball. He'll lay up, we've already seen him doing it. Oh, I thought he was going to go short there for a second. It looked like he wanted to yeah. work something, but there's still plenty of time in this yeah, fixture. Oh, it's only halfway through the second half. And McElroy again, Four points between the teams. Over the bar. 2 8, 2 8. 
three points between the teams now. 2-8 to Fermanagh, 11 points to Monaghan. So the goal still, I think, is it. It would really, it'll really give us a tasty last 10 minutes as goalkeeper Sean Boyle goes long. He's looking to find James Sherry. Sherry goes up for it, was fouled by Cyril Ronahan, and it's going to be a free for Fermanagh when I they get the ball Lynch out of the hands of Cyril Ronahan. The whistle works both ways now as well, <laughs> in fairness, Fermanagh yeah. getting a couple more calls in the now, second half. James Sherry. Oh, and we have a man down inside here. Is that Peter Coyle or Nicholas Corrigan that's down, maybe? With cramps, it's Peter, Peter Kyle. Kyle. I was going to yeah. just say, I don't think it's a Corrigan. That was been chipped forward Kieran by Donnelly. Peter Sherry, and that's gone wide. I think it was Kieran Donnelly, the former manager. Oh, Kieran Donnelly, big yeah, that just had that last effort. The ball yeah. was played into him. And I think if he was managing yeah. the Fermanagh team and seeing one of the lads taking on an effort like that, he'd have a word or two with them. <laughs> so there might be a word or two with them now again. And Peter Kyle, hopefully, he's nothing too serious there. It's the first time this evening we've also had to see the physio coming in as yeah, well. Yeah, that's so Sean Amore's doing his breath. I, I, we all thought she was going to have a lot of work to <laughs> do, do here. Which is very little, <laughs> thankfully. There could, could be want. plenty to happen in the <laughs> last 12 minutes. And, uh, I'm not sure, maybe he went over on his ankle, possibly, maybe, or... Looks like a looks like a leg injury anyway. Yeah, so that's yeah. I just seen not, that's not critical. Hopefully, nothing too serious. An opportunity, maybe the teams just draw a breath and draw catch a breath, their breath yeah. as well. I find out who they were game. supposed to be marking as well. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> with the rolling subs that yeah. can happen quite a bit. I see Frank Caulfield has come back in again. Uh, Frank McInerney's in there as well. So the two Franks have remained on and with Cyril the Cyril so Another change around be the off. middle. Cyril Ronahan maybe is right. No, Cyril still that standing there. there. That is him. Yeah. No. So Monaghan putting big men out around the middle here, maybe to try and claim a little bit more ball. Peter Kyle, thankfully, is back up on his feet, just testing out the strength I of the leg. I can feel the kitchen sink coming in the last <laughs> ten minutes now, f <laughs> with with only three points between the teams. This kick out's vital now from Monaghan's perspective from McBennett. There's a lot of running going on from to try and find somebody, and he's went short. That looks like Beggin it is, uh, Eddie Beggin it is indeed that went looking for that one and gets it. Do you know if anything showing the crowd's getting bigger? It is. There around. seems to be. Well, I know there was maybe training going on down on the bottom field, and I seen one of the the Quigley lads walking past me here as well, yeah. maybe itching to get onto the field. I uh, so I wonder when would he qualify for <laughs> for, for for a the master this, or a yeah, for the lake of this year. <laughs> I think there'd be a lot around for Man and Russell. would say he's already got the uh, legend status. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, once you have it, they, you can't, they can't take it off you. Patrick McBennett, uh, McBennett has decided now to go the Rory Began route. He's come Here a long go, way out of his goal Ronahan. to play this one. Inside the Fermanagh 45 metre lane, comes as far as Buggy Malone again. Colin, Colin Malone. Nicholas now, Corrigan. Nicholas Corrigan. Oh, it's a high under, ball, so but it's sure, going to be intercepted. Yeah. That is uh, Declan O'Reilly over there, and Fermanagh breaking out on that far side of the field and jacks a bit of pace into it. Now it's with Kieran Donnelly, and as Kieran Donnelly gives that ball forward to Kieran Boyle, shifts a challenge from Nicholas Corrigan, but the play continues over there. Declan O'Reilly left footed trying to find Kieran Boyle. In and around the 21 metre line now he oh, finds Noel Began. Here's a chance. Ryan Keenan's free <laughs> inside. Goes to ground. Picked up. Touched by on the ground. Picked on the no, ground. Play it on Ball ahead. Play on. Play on. Says the referee. It was uh, Frank McEnany over there, and Monaghan eventually win the free. I think Noel he had too many options. I think that's what happened. Too him. many he options. Decided, what are we going to do here? Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. Him. And uh, in fairness to Dermot Lynch, the referee, he's allowing the play to roll on as much as he possibly can because there was about three fouls on the ball and two foul fouls on a man inside there and none of it was blowing for it. It was great. Now, coming with Began again here, continues Eddie. Continues here with Eddie Began. He has got Paul McBennett over here, but he looks to Frank find... Frank McEnany. Frank McEnany. That goes over to Nicholas right. Corrigan. Yeah. Gets away from the challenge of two Russell men. Now it's with the other corner back who's Podrick <gasps> McKenna. Gone out over the side line. Gone out over the lane. I don't think Nicholas would have thanked him for that pass. You hear of a hospital pass. That one was an A&E <laughs> pass. <laughs> all wrote all over it. But in fairness, Nicholas got it. So he did. But unfortunately, the ball then has went out over the side line from Monna's perspective and from Anna now. And with I'm sure we'll start to play the clock a little bit as well, maybe. 
too yeah. dangerous of a lead to be at that, I would have thought. I'd say Dom Carrigan would know that anyway. Now that's Ray and Keenan going forward. Ball spins away from him. Going to be picked up eventually by Declan O'Reilly over there. O'Reilly, I thought he was lining up a shot, but he finds Kieran Boyle instead. Back to James Sherry. Nicely through the hands. It's with Shane King. Can that go over on the right foot? It would be a great score if it does. Ooh, Almost. Just very nearly. Tell you what, Padraig McBennett was having second thoughts on that one. And I think the crowd behind <laughs> think that McBennett got a hand to it just to rush it out. Is it, uh, having uh, none of it, the crowd trying to sway the decision. How long to see where the young players is from? <laughs> Uh, well, Porter Bennett and going to be uh, and, and, and give a little yeah. hand to the umpire there because it come right down just on the grazing of the post and it looked like he had to put a little hand just to, to ease it out. Kick out over the far side of the field that has been picked up by Vinnie, um, Vinnie Martin. Vinnie Martin. Yep. And again. No he score finds, this last moment or um, two. So he finds uh, number 21 who is uh, Seamus Mullen over there and it's, it's with uh, Kevin Hughes Hughes up against James Sherry I, I think Kevin Hughes must have played nearly the whole of this well he seems to have had I don't think he's went off at any stage he tried to find McElroy and McElroy doing well deep down Shane in the corner Gowans to come over, up with that one putting pressure on him McElroy still has it he's coming out here to find that's Shamey Shamey Mullen again Mullen. sat beside him in national school so I did so that's my claim to fame for Shamey it's back out of them again. He make it a third bite at the cherry here. Goes to ground. Did he pick it up the ground. Free. Picked it up oh, the ground. picked it up off the ground, yeah. And a Free man, that's Kieran Boyle. And Fermanagh are in a 3v1 situation here if they can get players forward. It's actually becoming 5v1. That's Declan O'Reilly. Is he going to pass it? Passes it over to Noel Beggan. Noel Beggan, oh. two goals. Oh, can't <laughs> connect. Well, you can collectively oh. hear the groans from the crowd there, so you can. It went past about two for man to men, and it literally only was going to take any sort of a touch yeah. or a knock at all to put it to the back of the net. And again, I think what happened, too many options, too and, and yeah. didn't yeah. know what to do. Could, yeah, Noel Began just couldn't get the toe on it to direct that into the net, but he's already scored a goal and maybe a point or two here, so you can't fault him. And I must say, the place has brightened up considerably. Uh, the, the lights the around lights the path, the walking path here. have just yeah. come on here. And it's a fantastic setting now. Look at the crowd the whole way around the ground here. And two teams giving us great entertainment. Old school football here as well. As I said, there's no possession football being played here tonight. It's. I was yeah. going to say it's hard and fast. Maybe not all that fast, but it's, it's, it's hard I'd say fair it'd be fast football. if you were out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be. Coaching challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Big challenge from Damien McKenna. <laughs> Damien F. McKenna and coming in on him there was it Noel Began and I think Noel realised all of a sudden it was a brick wall that yeah. he went up against. And the two lads look at exchange very sportingly exchanging then afterwards as well. I'd say they'll all be they'll they'll all be they'll drink they'll it off in the community drink, centre yeah, afterwards. Right. So they will. But we had no score. It, next score is vital. If Monaghan could get maybe the next score here. I think we're all looking for a Monaghan goal for a grandstand Tr finish here, Sean. Finish, but even to bring it back to a two point game, and all of a sudden, yeah. things could become very jittery from Fermanagh's perspective. Now, in fairness, Fermanagh have everybody back here and they're closing down the space. This is very hard to work an opening there. So, with the one man, maybe they could do it with a little bit of magic cues. The only again. problem is he'd want to be kicking the ball to himself. It's with Kevin Hughes over there, goes to Mullen ground. Back out here then again. Now he's Hughes has chipped a challenge Coffee. there now, but uh, he's getting back up again. <laughs> now it's with Jared Carrigan, Carrigan. inside the R R Fermanagh 45 metre lane, coming back over as far as Eddie Began. Yeah. Scotch Town's Eddie Began looks for his options. I think that's Ian Larmer. It is, over you're there. right, I think, yeah. It's coming and back, back out again, again, again. yes, yeah, right for Began. the turn of it. Huey McElroy, th these boys are in the wrong places now. As you say, Hughes needs to be inside, McElroy needs to be inside. It's coming across to Damien F and any sort of a turnover now could be dead. Look at Podrick McBennett suddenly has come up to get involved in it. Nice ball played out here to Colin, Colin Malone. Malone. Malone with a point to his name for him. He was introduced here, played deep down into the he corner. Gives it to Looking for Cyril Ronahan. Cyril Ronahan's Ronahan. been stood up, well stood up. Only wins himself the free. I don't know how well that's free now, I think, Sean, that, that was. was May have already had given the tenor to Dermot yeah. Lynch there prior to the game. And Going that's to take it quick, here we go. Chance of a pint. And it's in and over the yeah. bar and it come off the boot inside Declan there. Smith. Declan Smith. So two point game and we're looking at the clock. Now Four minutes remaining. It's getting Alec serious Ferguson now. Talk about the squeaky bum time. Yeah. There could be a lot of squeaky joints yeah. out there. Maybe <laughs> as this game has I gone know, on as where's, well. Where's a, where's a tin of grace when you need it? <laughs> 
short kick out Sean Boyle from Anna looking to retain possession over into the corner and again they'll go on this sweep and move and again all they have to do is keep the scoreboard ticking for themselves a point here That's and it's right. back out to three again that's what they have been doing they've never let it get back Nail down Cassidy, again and they're going to do James it Sherry. same with Sherry can he get it oh, away? he's still continuing on it's Kieran, in with Donnelly Donnelly Kieran inside Boyle, can he get the goal? oh no oh. wait wait oh he's seen the whites <laughs> of the eyes of Podrick Bennett he's seen the glory I think he's seen the opportunity he, he scored he scored a more difficult one in the first half and so it's maybe still Monaghan are still are still in it here for Monaghan two eight Monaghan twelve points and the kick out has been won over there by Nicholas Carrigan. It's interesting both teams up now to go short kick outs and try to build from the back and considering there's 25 minutes in the first half and almost 25 yeah. in the second half on the legs of these lads they're probably yeah they'd be keeping an element of fitness yeah. to themselves. This so is this is fantastic stuff that they want to great carry stuff, ball and great work stuff, a score. Yeah. T- two and a half minutes to go here as Fermanagh are nursing a two point Adjale lead blow it up, give going to be yeah, over carried oh over he's carried. given it as I said they had I think he certainly up. discovered yeah they bottled him up over carry coming over here now to Kieran Donnelly Kieran, Kieran Donnelly he is Kieran Rooney here looks going to, to find Kevin Carrigan going to come across oh he done well Cos- did Carrigan Carrigan gets his hand yeah. in Monan have it intercepted now Fermanagh I would say are d- conscious of their two point lead and they don't want to commit too many men into the forward line but Monaghan have it in there with their centre half forward who's Damien, Damien F. McKenna F. yeah out to Eddie Beggins got saying men are combining here so they are and I'm looking Malone's going to come out give him an option takes that option looking down into the corner here nice ball played down into that corner that's McMahon no it's not McMahon it's Fergal Moan in fact he has a point to his name back to Malone will Malone shape up for it no doesn't fancy it back across in front here once more she was Mullen back to Beggin or it's Frank McEnany in fact goes Beggin. over now as far as Cyril Ronahan on the right foot spreads the play over to Q McElroy I'd say McElroy would like it closer to the goal he left him plenty to do but McElroy finds Kevin, Kevin Hughes, Hughes over there right footed coming across the goal oh, that's going to go wide, wide. Real snapshot there, but again, wonderful passage of play in fairness. Ball back and forth across the field. I see Podrick McBennett is coming out. He's standing going 30 seconds to go on the, on the watch here, Sean. So they're going to have to yeah. commit every man forward in the hope of winning this kick out. I don't think it's. I think if it's a draw, I think it's a replay. I don't think it's penalties <laughs> the night. Right. Replay and Scotch I don't know if these lads just fancy any extra time either. Yeah. It's going to come out. Ronan's going to claim it around the middle. So Monan will have one last opportunity to go forward here. He gives Get everyone Malone forward. To take That's Colin Malone. Big Dangerous ball inside. Ball free the man. Here we go. Moon. Goal chance. Oh, oh way. Pulls it to the wrong side. The post from the wide. foot of Fergal Moan. And again, I think similar to what happened at the far side. He's seen the whites of the eyes of Sean Boyle. He's seen the bulge in uh, net and thought this is the glory. Chrissy Chrissy Breen's in the in, in the goals at the minute. Oh, there. Chrissy Breen's gone in right. Shot across the face of the goals, but the chance was there. You Absolutely. Always te- you, get, you always tend to get a chance in that there. Instant Sean as Chris Breen looks to go long. Half a minute played over, so I'll let it go for another couple I'll of plays here, see what minute, happens. Surely. I don't think anybody wants to go home anytime soon here. The lights are on and the uh, weather's and perfect. And after it's not the raining, rain. that's right. It's with Kieran Donnelly over there, he is Jim Sherry chipping the ball forward but just over the head of Nicholas Carrigan he couldn't jump high enough. That's with uh, Kieran McElroy just keep ball for Fermanagh here that's all they got to do and they're still being very positive in their play trying to go forward they're going to work it back out here because they have men over here back out on the 45 so they have and just as we see that the, the rain, rain has come rain on is so maybe now Dermot could blow the whistle any time he fancies now it's here we go across. it's with Kieran Boyle gives oh, it to Peter Sherry football. chance to close no. it up Peter Sherry ball goes wide maybe time for one more kick out here I think Dermot is going to give them one more chance. Hardwick McBennett was looking for a short option. Fermanagh cut that out immediately. He's going, He's long. Going, He's going the long. Looking side. to find Frank McEnany over there. McEnany can't keep it in. Can't keep it in. He went out over the sideline and just doesn't want to give the ball up until he gets players back into position. And now the rain is starting to come down, so I'm sure these lads will not mind if the final whistle does no, go. No, no. For the still two point lead, two eight to twelve. 2-8 to 12 as Fermanagh have it in midfield no real pressure coming on from Monaghan so Monaghan are going to have to commit to try and get the ball out of the hands of Fermanagh because Fermanagh are comfortable enough here and just as Kieran, McEl- Kieran Donnelly finds Kevin 
he finds Kevin Cosgrove with Frank Caulfield in front of him oh, it's Cosgrove over. gives the ball away I'm this could be it Cyril Ronaghan finds Damien McKenna McKenna's moaned out here to his this left hand side and he's found him. here now. Fermanagh have plenty of defenders back. There's just Q McElroy in front. Q McElroy, yeah. This could be the chance. This is it. Fermanagh have to hold out for this last challenge. That's Colin Moan has it. Looking for a shooting chance. A point's no good to him, but he looks like he's going to chip it in. That's going to drop short Straight into the hands into the of Chris Breen. And referee yeah. Dermot Lynch says, that's enough. And after a very enjoyable game here in Shamrock Park, Fermanagh run out winners 2-8 to Fermanagh 12 points to Monaghan very enjoyable Sean absolutely and fair dues to, to Marius and his organised committee for putting this together it's been brilliant to see the wonderful crowd that turned out for it here and in fairness the two squads the two sets of players and, and yeah. genuinely they thoroughly enjoyed it you can see by them as well even afterwards here now they're this shaking could on the hands be the start. They, they really enjoyed it I'm sure an opportunity to get them out and you noted it during the commentary there there's no reason why these two counties maybe couldn't in the future have Masters teams back N- out there again all, from the quality of what we've seen there tonight well Sean thank you so much for joining us on <laughs> Fermanagh GEA TV we'll go and get the next portion of the night because we'll have to retire to the complex for uh, tea and sandwiches so thanks very much for those of you joining in for us and don't forget you can contribute to Marius's fundraising efforts the link I'm sure is on social media until the next time we speak to you on Fermanagh GEA TV which is going to be this weekend with the Westville Hotel Division 1 final and the Crust and Crumb Division 2 final we'll see you then until then Sloan August Bonnacht <laughs>